I'm a Motown kid, and I, I will hold that torch. Even if my father wasn't David Ruffin and I was from Detroit, I'd be like, yeah, I'm from Detroit. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm from the bad side of Detroit or right. the sanctified part of Detroit. I'm just from the D. So how was that experience, man, growing up in Detroit, you know what I mean, with a celebrity father? A lot of people don't know, you know what I mean, what the experience is like. Can you kind of share that with us, what that experience was like for you, from your point of view? <clears throat> um, well, my point of view is basically the adults that were around me growing up. You know, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of um, surmised my that my father was an entertainer and my mom was too and that did you understand it when you were younger at the time like did you understand younger how? younger no i was just like who are all these people and why right <laughs> and why are y'all making so much noise all the time um but eventually i you know i figured it out and you know after knowing uh all of the temptations and growing around growing up around all the temptations it started to make more sense to me as to why Pops wasn't home. Gotcha. And then when, you know, he left the Temptations or was fired or whatever people wanted, um, I was, you know, touring with him again there too. And then a reunion tour as well. So, I mean, I've, I've been around it. So I did figure it out rather quickly. Um, and I didn't really get, of course, I didn't get the stardom of it. I just mm -hmm. knew he was a singer, and I knew he was in a popular group, and I knew he was in rotations, and I knew he was solo. But it didn't really, I didn't really get it probably until high school, mm. how popular he really was. Mm. 